Sometimes I'm here, 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 here. guys just pulling out of shop it's 4 20 we've got to get some things rolling huge day friday the 13th august not only we're we doing this autocross today we are also uh it's uh our second son colby oaks 17th birthday happy birthday colby oak here's what we got to work with 6 a.m friday the 13th this right here I want to say a blank sheet of paper, but they had the motocross race a few nights ago. So we've still got a lot of obstacles. We've got to rebuild those completely. And it's time to go. Guys, if you look over that way, Karen Creek, so you see the announcer stand. If you'd look right through the center of that, it's skewed over a little bit. Right there is the peak of Karen Creek. So it's nice that Karen Creek's got our back today. All right, guys, going to be a crazy busy day. Believe it or not, I am completely in charge of this event. So during the day, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. I'm still doing emails, building a track, uh, answering questions on site, keeping everybody on task out here. And then once the, the folks start coming, the participants, all hell breaks loose in and it's, uh, so to speak, balls to the wall. And we might have a special guest, uh, another YouTuber. It's got a big channel coming out to help me with drop the first green flag tonight. That's what I'm gonna get to work on now is getting these uh, obstacles all built. And even though we got a map, it's still a lot of just uh, feel. I know I talk about feel before on the channel about when you're dozing banks and stuff, but it's it's true. I mean, you just get out there and you get a feeling for your sight, for your footprint, and how much dirt you got. party people we pretty much got this track built the nuts and bolts of that track is in place right now we got mike out there running the water truck so he's getting things watered down right now good for us we've got a good chance of storms tonight that always wreaks havoc on our game plan but with the water with the rain we can't depend on the rain we've got to water uh we've got to get the water down just for uh timing purposes so it's 1 uh we don't start doing inspections or anything like that until i believe 4 4 30 so I've got some time here. We're just going to continue to do finishing touches. We got some round bells to put out there. You would not believe how crazy these guys drive around this track. Excuse me, guys and gals. So the round bells, they're likely to destroy them all. They'll mow them down, destroy them. Uh, the bulldozers I'm sitting on, the old Cairn Creek dozer, they'll smack that thing off, but uh, shouldn't hurt the bulldozer. Uh, we'll see. Looks like Mike is back in the skid loader now. He is uh taking some big old tractor tires out and we'll put those on the turns to try to discourage guys from cutting the track because that's a real possibility these guys are really into it to win and we've got to do everything we can to try to prevent uh, track cutting uh stuff like that looking at five o'clock now cars are almost in the background going through inspection making sure everything is kosher everything is how it's supposed to be because these guys do want to test the rules they want to test the limits it's what, it, what any race car driver wants to do obviously but the interesting thing at this point is we've got trouble on the way. Got a major thunderstorm headed our way. So it's gonna get watered for us. The old track's gonna get watered. What do you think, Big Mike? Track watering has commenced, guys. Park the water trucks, shut her down. Current track conditions. It's a little wet down here. Got Mike out there on the Cannon Creek bulldozer. The gap jump has now became a lake jump. That's okay. I think the rain's pretty much done. Uh, believe it or not, the track will be fine. They're still rolling in hot. It is 5:30. <laughs> So cousin Ben is racing 
one of our other buddies, so it'll be interesting to see how they do. Colton. How's it going here? All right, Colton, I want you to check all this. Um, is this right, 3A? That's black. Okay, you're going to take this to tech with you. Okay. And they'll give you a sticker there. You know what? Heat your in. And guys, check out our official green flag starter for this race brian brown brian's farming videos go check him out yep all right brian's gotta pay attention we're doing this behind the dozer so the first heat don't see us you're holding the flag up and when it's time to go okay take off like crazy all right and run into the bulldozer <laughs> and then run to the bulldozer for safety <laughs> we can do that all right guys the time is here it's here finally getting ready to drop the green flag on the first race we got the national anthem coming up it's going to be spectacular buddies so be interesting to see how they do
Who, who did he say threw it? He probably seen the he, he probably seen the car on the side, but the guy got out, so he kept going. Miller's coming up to you right now. I think they threw the red flag up there. I think Buck threw the red flag. That used to be me. finished cleaning up the carnage that right there is an autocross race what do you think guys thanks for watching thanks for working with us karen creek from the ross county fairgrounds 2021 autocross show over and out <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>